Hey crawling fans, this is Patrick at Locked Up RC, and this video is for our new Easy Mount Beadlock Wheel System. We felt that this new system warranted more than text and pictures, so we've put together a little demo of the system to show you. Some of you already saw this wheel and ring at the Southwest Scale Championship, and that's just because I was so excited to get this into your hands, I couldn't wait. Before we get into the new system, I wanted to give a little info on our older beadlock system for those that are not familiar with our brand. Our original wheels and rings utilized standard cap screws. The rings were filled with cap screws that we cut flush on the back side of the ring. This enabled us to mount the rings to SCX10 and other compatible wheel styles. And the use of the six screws to hold the ring to the wheel made it a lot easier for you guys to swap tires and foams compared to existing aftermarket wheel styles. On the plus side, it started to shape our direction here at Locked Up RC towards making what we think are some great scale wheels. On the downside, this was a pain in the rear to cut all the little screws at any level of volume for us. So the next evolution of our system was a giant leap in scale realism with the addition of M2 scale hex bolts and eventually acorn nuts. A lot of you are familiar with these little beauties and a lot of you know we now offer a lot of scale hardware options. The scale hex bolts really set the new standard for our wheels, but still had the drawback of all the screws to mount and then cut down. The third version of our beadlock wheel system came with the release of our M2x1 scale hex bolts. These bolts were designed to thread into rings without the need for more cutting. This meant that you would get the look of all the little screws without having to bust out the Dremel or a chop saw. These saved us a ton of time and labor, which translated into reduced cost for you guys. Unfortunately, the manufacturing process of the M2x1 screws required us to lathe cut the screws after molding in order to keep the price remotely reasonable. The lathe cutting process meant that the starter threads on the screws were frequently distorted. So we had to include some M2 nuts in each bag for you to clean up the threads before installing them into the rings. That meant extra time and labor for you. And although reasonable, the price was still higher than we wanted for those of you on a tight budget. So, when redesigning our system, we took all of this and more into account. Which brings us to today in our new Easy Mount Beadlock system. Our new Easy Mount wheels and rings will offer the same or better scale realism and the option to get a beautiful set of wheels for less. In some cases, a lot less. So what I have here is a side-by-side -side comparison of one of our old and one of our new 1.9 Agile Beadlock rings. The obvious difference is that the new ring has six additional threaded screw holes, but let me assure you we are not making things more difficult. You will not have to install six additional M2x1 screws. With our new Easy Mount system, you actually will not need to cut screws or mess with any M2x1 screws again. The reason is, if you look at one of our old wheels, and then you look at one of our new wheels, you will see the face of the new wheel has been drilled with 18 additional holes. These holes allow you to install our regular M2x7 scale hex bolts into a ring and slide that ring right in, slide the screws right into the wheel, get your tire mounted and not have to cut anything. This means no more expensive M2x1 screws, no more chasing threads with nuts. It also means increased lateral strength because you have full thread engagement and if you do strip a screw you can grab it from the back side and force it up and out of the ring. Of course, it's your choice to install the screws into the threaded ring holes before or after mounting the ring and tire to the wheel. But for this demo, I just went ahead and put them all on the ring so you guys could see how easily that slips in there. Now, this change is going to save you a lot of time and a little bit of money. But some of you will still want a more budget-friendly option, and that's built into this system as well. Because not only do you not have to buy m 2 by one scale hex bolts, since this system uses full-length hardware, you can actually pick up a cheap set of M2x8 cap head screws and those are going to slide right in there as well. So that means instead of spending $35 on hardware and tools, you can buy $5 of M2 cap head screws. Obviously this is one of our new inspired rings loaded with the cap head screws and as you can see that went right into the wheel. So when the time is right, later on down the road, you can upgrade to scale hex bolts if you want to. But if you don't want to, this is a great budget-friendly way to step into a beautiful set of scale wheels made right here in the USA. 
over the course of the past few weeks, we've gotten a ton of PMs, emails, and phone calls asking why our rings and wheels were listed as discontinued on the site. We told all of you things were being redesigned, but kept our lips sealed on how and why and what the next generation would look like. So now you've seen the beginning. You've seen the new version of the iconic wheel. You've seen the new version of the agile beadlock ring. You've also seen the new version of the inspired ring. So what are the rings are going to come back? As requested by you guys, we are bringing back our tarantula ring. We are also bringing back our mirror ring. We're bringing back our orb ring. And we are bringing back the gridlock ring. Now, of course, the Iconic Wheel is going to be available in both SLW and our 8L versions, but that's not the only wheel that we're bringing back. You guys love these adversary wheels so much, we could not stop ourselves from making more. The last wheel that's going to be coming out uh, in this new batch is going to be the Trail Wheel. Now, this Trail Wheel has been heavily redesigned. It's got a flatter face and a step down lip around the D window, which makes it look a whole lot more like the wheel we originally wanted. And we're not just limiting ourselves to 1.9s either. We are going to be bringing out all of these for our 2.2s. Here's our 2.2 rock cutter. And as you can see, it's been drilled for the easy mount system. And this is just another one of our 1.9s that we went ahead and, and mounted for you guys. So. At this point, some of you are probably saying to yourselves, you just want rings for your SCX-10 that look great and not a whole new set of wheels. Well, have no fear. We're going to continue to offer our M2x1 screws for you guys. And that means you'll be able to purchase rings and mount them to your wheels just like you guys currently do. If you're one of the folks that have a set of our older rings, remember, they will still work with our new wheels utilizing the same M2x1 hardware you're running now because we're still using the same six bolt beadlock mount pattern we always have. So as you look around our site, look for the easy mount tag on our wheels and rings. All of the 1.9 easy mount rings will work with all of the 1.9 easy mount wheels. Same goes for our 2.2s. If it is the same size and it says easy mount, they will go together easily. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're as excited about this new system as we are. As always, if you have any questions while ordering or general comments, please don't hesitate to drop us a line. We have the contact us tab on the website and that's going to get you the fastest response from us, but you can also find us on Facebook, RCC, Scale4F4, and wherever the rocks may take us. Thanks for watching.